The Franco-Thai War was fought between Thailand and France over certain areas of French Indochina. Negotiations with France shortly before World War II had shown that the French government was willing to make appropriate changes in the boundaries between Thailand and French Indochina, but only slightly. Following the fall of France in 1940, Major General Plak Pibyul Songgram, the Prime Minister of Thailand, decided that France's defeat gave the Thais an even better chance to regain the territories they had lost during King Chu Lalong Khorne's reign. The German military occupation of a large part of France made France's hold on its overseas possessions, including Indochina, difficult. The colonial administration was now cut off from outside help and outside supplies. After the Japanese invasion of Indochina in September 1940, the French were forced to allow Japan to set up military bases. This seemingly subservient behavior convinced the Fabun regime that France would not seriously resist a confrontation with Thailand. Opposing forces French The French military forces in Indochina consisted of an army of approximately 50,000 men, 12,000 of whom were French, organized into 41 infantry battalions, two artillery regiments, and a battalion of engineers. The most obvious deficiency of the French army was its shortage of armor. It could field only 20 antiquated Renault FT tanks against the nearly 100 armored vehicles of the Royal Thai Army. The bulk of the French forces stationed near the Thai border consisted of the Indo-Chinese troops of the 3rd and 4th T. Riyas Tonkinoy. Together with a battalion of Montagnards, French regulars of the colonial infantry and foreign legion units, the ARME AQT de Relais had approximately 100 aircraft, of which about 60 could be considered frontline. These included 30 Pertes 25 Tows, 4 Farman 221 Bombers, 6 Pertes 542s, 9 Moran Saulnir MS 406 Fighters, and 8 Loire 130 Flying Boats. Thai The slightly larger Thai army was a relatively well-equipped force. Consisting of 60,000 men, it was made up of four armies. The largest was the Burafa Army, with five divisions. Independent formations under direct control of the Army High Command included two motorized cavalry battalions, one artillery battalion, one signals battalion, one engineer battalion, and one armored regiment. The artillery was a mixture of aged Krupp and modern Bofors howitzers and field guns while 60 machine-gun armed Carden Lloyd tankets and 30 Vickers 6-ton light tanks made up the bulk of the Army's tank force. The Royal Thai Navy included two coastal defense ships, 12 torpedo boats, and four Japanese-made submarines. The Thai Navy was inferior to the French naval forces, but the Royal Thai Air Force held both a quantitative and qualitative edge over the local ARME AQT de Air units. Among the 140 aircraft that composed the Air Force's first line strength were 24 Mitsubishi Ki-30 light bombers, 9 Mitsubishi Ki-21 medium bombers, 25 Curtis Hawk 75 ends pursuit planes, 6 Martin B-10 medium bombers, and 70 Vorto II Corsair light bombers. Campaign. While nationalist demonstrations and anti French rallies were being held in Bangkok, several border skirmishes erupted along the Mekong frontier. The Superior Royal Thai Air Force then conducted daytime bombing runs over military targets in Vientiane, Phnom Penh, Sisophon, and Batambang with impunity. The French retaliated with their own air attacks, but the damage they caused was less than equal. The activities of the Thai Air Force, particularly in the field of dive bombing, was such that Admiral Jean Dicou, the governor of French Indochina, grudgingly remarked that the Thai planes seemed to have been flown by men with plenty of war experience. On January 5, 1941, following the report of a French attack on the Thai border town of Arayan Prathet, the Thai Burafa and Isan armies launched an offensive on Laos and Cambodia. French response was instantaneous, but many units were simply swept along by the better-equipped Thai forces. 
The Thai army swiftly overran Laos, but the French forces in Cambodia managed to rally and offer more resistance. At dawn on January 16, 1941 the French launched a large counter-attack on the Thai-held villages of Yang Dang Kum and Phum Priev, initiating the fiercest battle of the war. Due to poor coordination and non-existent intelligence against the entrenched and prepared Thai forces, the French operation was stopped and fighting ended with a French retreat from the area. However, the Thais were unable to pursue the retreating French as their forward tanks were kept in check by the gunnery of French Foreign Legion artillery. With the situation on land rapidly deteriorating for the French, Admiral Deku ordered all available French naval forces into action in the Gulf of Thailand. In the early morning of January 17, the superior French fleet caught a Thai naval detachment by surprise at anchor off Koh Chang Island. The subsequent Battle of Koh Chang was a victory for the French and resulted in the sinking of two Thai torpedo boats and a coastal defense ship. The French suffering only minor casualties. On January 24, the final air battle took place when Thai bombers raided the French airfield at Angkor, near Siem Reap. The last Thai mission to bombing at Phnom Penh commenced at 7.10 hours on January 28, when the Martins of the 50th Bomber Squadron set out on a raid on Sai Siphon, escorted by 13 Hawk 75 ends of the 60th Fighter Squadron. Results Armistice Japan stepped in to mediate the conflict. A Japanese-sponsored conference for the cessation of hostilities was held at Saigon and preliminary documents for a ceasefire between the governments of Marshal Philippe Pétain's France and the Kingdom of Siam were signed aboard the cruiser Natri on January 31, 1941, and a general armistice had been arranged to go into effect at 1000 hours on January 28. On May 9 a peace treaty was signed in Tokyo, with the French being coerced by the Japanese to relinquish their hold on the disputed border territories. France ceded the following provinces to Thailand from Cambodia, but Tambang and Palin, which were reorganized as PHRA Tabong Province, Kokong Province, Siem Reap, Banti Minchi and Oda Minchi, which were reorganized as Phabun Songkram Province. Priya V here, which was merged with a part of Champasic province of Laos opposite Paxi to form Nakhon Champasic province, Zenabuli, including part of Luang Prabang province, which was renamed Lan Chang province. Treaty The resolution of the conflict was received with wide acclaim among the Thai people and was seen as a personal triumph for Phabun. For the first time, Thailand had been able to extract concessions from a European power, albeit a weakened one. For the French in Indochina, the conflict was a bitter reminder of their isolation following the fall of France. In the French view, an ambitious neighbor had taken advantage of a distant colony cut off from her weakened parent. Without hope of reinforcements, the French had little chance of offering a sustained resistance. However, the real beneficiaries of the conflict were the Japanese. They were able to expand their influence in both Thailand and Indochina. The Japanese won from Fabun a secret verbal promise to support them in an attack on British Malaya and British Burma. On 8 December 1941, the Japanese invaded Thailand at the same time they invaded Malaya. To commemorate the victory Fabun had the Victory Monument built. Thailand invited Japan and Germany to join the celebration. Japan ordered Shoji Ro Iida to join the celebration and the German Foreign Ministry ordered Robert Eisen to join the celebration. After the war, in October 1946, northwestern Cambodia and the two Lao enclaves on the Thai side of the Mekong River were returned to French sovereignty when the French provisional government threatened to veto Thailand's membership in the United Nations. Casualties The French army suffered a total of 321 casualties, of whom 15 were officers. The total number of missing after January 28 was 178. The Thais had captured 222 men. 
The Thai army suffered 54 men killed in action and 307 wounded. 41 sailors and marines of the Thai navy were killed, and 67 wounded. At the Battle of Ko Chang, 36 men were killed, of whom 20 belonged to HTMS Thornberry, 14 to HTMS Sankla, and 2 to HTMS Choburi. The Thai Air Force lost 13 men. The number of Thai military personnel captured by the French numbered just 21. About 30% of the French aircraft were rendered unserviceable by the end of the war, some as a result of minor damage sustained in air raids that remained unrepaired. The ARME Acute Derail Air admitted the loss of one Farman F-221 and two Moran MS-406s destroyed on the ground, but in reality its losses were greater. In its first experience of combat, the Royal Thai Air Force claimed to have shot down five French aircraft and destroyed 17 on the ground, for the loss of three of its own in the air and another five to ten destroyed in French air raids on Thai airfields.